Quinn and Cantera. It's 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. I don't know if it's the wheels of justice, but whatever it is, it seems to move pretty slow because it's almost (laughs) six years after the class action lawsuit was filed uh, that we may learn about a settlement. This is in regards to the Stewart's wage lawsuit. Uh, The settlement coming soon, Paul? Yeah, it looks like it's uh, right around the corner, just uh, so it'll be within the six-year mark from the date that they filed it here. And, you know, based on what we read and what we see... It looks like it's, uh, you know, it started out as something that was going to be fairly significant, and it's kind of uh, ending something that is uh, pretty, pretty small here. You know, not, a, a, not a whole lot of violation. Sounds like, a, yeah, it sounds like a low, like a lower deal for for all the rigmarole they're going through. Class one is people who got, didn't get paid overtime. They claimed, and and it, were there three people who were named, and like 146 of them weren't named. Why do the three people? I mean, I think I know, but why do the three people who are named? Versus 146 people who weren't named mm. get five thousand dollars, and the other people get two hundred. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So with a class action, you're in a situation where you've got people who have similar injuries, people who have suffered in a similar fashion. They name one, two, or three plaintiffs. They became the actual named plaintiffs in a class action. They sort of represent everyone else, but they do benefit a little more. There's certain statutory amounts that say, hey, if you're going to go through this and you're going to be part of the the lawsuit and depositions and you're going to be you know having been named here and your name's out there you're going to do a little bit better um so here it's significantly better usually it's not that much but i think it just sort of hit a minimum of five thousand uh for each of the named and then you know they don't know how much it's going to be because i'm not sure everyone who's going to be in the class but ultimately um a relatively small settlement i mean the, really the two things were show up for a meeting on your day off you're supposed to get paid and then there's that whole thing when I think everyone suffers from, you know, shift transition pay. Hey, you start at 7 and you're off at 7. Well, we got those time in between, right? We got customers and we've got those minutes that we're not sure what to do with. And the answer is you got to overlap that. You got to pay them when they stay beyond their time. So is this like, is this malicious intent or is this more oversight? How, I mean, I, I, we all love yeah. Stewart, so I don't want to. just three lazy yeah. guys that yeah. decided to get together and have a lawsuit. We're not here to hammer <laughs> Stewart's at all. I'm kind of hoping maybe it was just slip of the mind, but it seems, I don't know, is it deliberate, maybe Paul? we don't know. It, I don't know. No, it doesn't feel deliberate at all. It feels just like, you know, just, you know, they're a company that just continues. You know, they were a small company at one point. They grew into a big company, and these things just sort of get overlooked. And there's really not, I guess, an excuse for that other than probably, again, I don't think there's a malicious intent here. I think that um, if you look at the number of potential plaintiffs, there were 33,000. And, you know, there are just a few have opted in, meaning a lot of the folks who work there who said, yeah, you know, maybe they did call me in or, yeah, you know, maybe I worked a few extra minutes. I don't want to be part of this. Okay. You know, so I think that goes to probably there's such a goodwill component with Stewart's and employees generally are pleased that not a lot of them joined up in this and, and ultimately uh, long lawsuit, lots of, you know, a little bit of media coverage, but a pretty small resolution. So if you're one of the people who's going to pick up, say, 200 bucks for the class action suit and it's been about six years, it breaks down to about 64 cents a week. <laughs> I guess <laughs> it's there's a, there, I guess, I'm reading there's a scale, like a sliding scale for like seniority, but it can't be much more. That's tough. When can I start waiting on it? (laughs) Paul, when can I start charging iHeart for answering all my emails at night? (laughs) Seriously. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about that offline. Yeah. No. So (laughs) ultimately, you've got positions where sometimes you can just come and go. Once you reach a certain threshold of, of, of compensation, they sort of, you know, you can, you don't get to do that. But when you're at beneath a certain level of compensation, that's when your hours count. So I think where you are, I think you're stuck answering those emails. The just do what I hours. do and just turn the computer off. Just, nice. Well, you know, <laughs> no one ever says you have to answer the emails, but I hate waking up to a full inbox. So well, I, a certain, I'd rather just take care of There's a collection of, them, you know? of emails that from certain people that you, we have to answer 24-7. But plus, <laughs> plus, there's a lot of things of, by answering my emails ahead of Quinn that I actually jump on. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Quinn yeah, missed out on that Schlitz exactly. endorsement oh two years ago because he didn't reply to the yeah, email. It's a windfall for you. <laughs> All right, Paul. Well, when, when do we think this will be settled? This week? Yeah, we think it's going to be settled this week, and awesome. therefore there'll be more to follow. And long time coming, and so this will be put to bed. Did you vote? You Not vote yet. Today? Not a boy. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, believe I'm it. out there. I'll, I'll be out there. there. Do All your right, civic buddy. duty. Nope. <laughs> Looking good on those TV commercials, by the way. Love Looking it. good, Paul. Great new sign on Choice <laughs> Road. He's everywhere. <laughs> it's Paul Harding. 
From Martin Harding Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. See you, buddy. Thanks, Paul. Talk soon, guys. Bye-bye. 